Bang! Knees Knives. I'm Jared and this video is going to be about reverse flicking action. Now, I have a lot of knives that are really good at the reverse flick, but I picked 10 of the best ones now. I discluded any with just a fuller. They had to have somewhat of a hole in the knife now this was kind of hard because i had some that on they could have just perfectly made it on this list just fine and it was very difficult to pick which one but i only picked 10 out let's get into it so this is the benchmade griptilian now this is the sheep's foot version and some people might not say like that this one is the best type of reverse flicking action because it doesn't have a detent you know it you have to the, the blade basically overcomes that bar right there, pushing it out of the way. But when you get good at it, I mean, it's very, very easy to deploy. And you don't, it's not really strong. So it's very easy to overcome. And once you do overcome, it's like you just get it to here and snap. And it works really good. And you have the access lock, which is really nice. The thumb roll is very nice. The thumb action is really nice. The Benchmade Griptilian with the sheep's foot is my favorite version. Let's get to the next one. We're going to go through these, pretty, through these pretty quickly. Now, another thing about the knives on this list, they are all obtainable. You can get them all. Um, at least as far as I know, you can get every single knife on this list pretty easily. So, Next, we have the Spyderco Manix and... The Spyderco PM2, of course, Spydercos are going to have really good action. And I have even more Spydercos that, you know, could have been on this list as well. But the PM2 is just probably the best one at reverse flicking. Now, the Manix is really good as well. Um, so it's very tough to pick which one I like more. Um, I know which knife I like more, but with the reverse flicking action... It's tough. <laughs> it is tough. This one's kind of like the access lock of the like the other knife, except for it's a little bit harder because you're overcoming more of a ball than a bar. But these are both phenomenal, phenomenal reverse flicking action knives. Spyderco Manix 2 and Spyderco PM2. Next, we have the Concept Cryo. Now, this one, instead of having a hole, it has... Um, a hole, but it's an elongated hole. Very easy to deploy this one. Good size too. The the handle material is micarta on this one. This knife comes in lots of different versions, though. They even have it in titanium, and they have a smaller version as well. This is the full size version. Very comfortable in the hand, but the reverse flicking action is really good. And since it is a liner lock, you can easily do it left-handed. That was another thing. I wanted to get a lot of knives on this list that were very good left and right-handed. The last three knives we looked at were all really good left-handed. The Concept Cryo. Next, the Honey Badger. So the honey badger comes in three different sizes. This one is the small one. I do. I know the big one would be uh, better than this. That's another reason why it's on the list because there are three different sizes of this. But very good reverse flicking action. That hole having the the flat area right there makes it really nice for the finger. Now this being the small one, I don't use my nail. I use just the meat of my finger. But it works really good left or right. With the left hand, because of the cutout for the lock bar, I can actually put my full finger in there. Works incredibly well. The Honey Badger's action is just amazing. I just don't like the FRN. But as a knife, man, great knife. Next, let's bust out a Tucson. So we got the Tucson TS-129. Now this was tough because... I have two more here, the TS319 and the Tucson TS. I can never remember the number. Um, so we have the Tucson TS129, 319, and the one I can't remember the number. I'll probably pop it up right here. Okay, so this one, amazing reverse looking action. We have kind of a pear-shaped 
hole right there that just works incredibly well. Very easy to get your whole finger in there or just the meat of your finger. The action is stupid smooth. Really, really good. But this one's not great left-handed because you have the lock bar. But you can put your finger on the clip and it works just fine. So lefty, this is not going to be the best. But it still does work, like I said, if you put your finger down here. Now, these two work great left-handed. And I almost pulled out my Tucson TS-305 uh, because it's amazing at reverse flicking. However, I do think these two are slightly, slightly better. Um, and this one, the 319, incredible reverse flicking action. The detent is just very, very well tuned for the reverse flick it is a smaller knife but man so easy to reverse flick um kind of reminds me of the the gavco is it the gavco no the um yeah the nurse the gav but the fuller is just so big you can reach it down here right here anywhere you want and it just works incredibly well access to the liner is really good now this one I love this knife, man. It's not even my, I mean, I don't know. It kind of looks like an old fashioned knife while being new age at the same time. The ergos melt in your hand. Very, very comfortable. Lock bar access is really nice. The top flipper is like one of the best top flippers ever, but the reverse flicking action is just incredible. They give you a nice long hole and left-handed it works really good, but it's just so easy to use. Great, great knife. I really like this Tucson. I just can't never remember the name of it. <laughs> great knife, though. Next. This is a new one, but the Kubi uh, Veloce. So I put this one on the list because it is brand new, and it is really good at the reverse flick. You know, aside from the flipper tab, which is really good as well, the reverse flick is awesome. Now, this one, however, is not good left-handed you have to kind of put your finger on this plate right here and then you don't have any control so i i don't recommend this for lefties but for righties it's very very good so that is very good reverse flicking action for a righty and you also have the extended fuller right here so you can get really down low but like i said we were keeping fullers out of this so awesome awesome action though next now these last three are just off the charts good so we have the civivi riffle the reverse flicking action is all the knives on this list are off the charts to be honest um this one is incredibly easy to use right or left-handed uh reversible pocket clip so it's going to be nice for lefties as well the flipping action is really good too but we're we're not talking about that. Now, the thumb flick, not as easy, but you can do it. You know, you see me doing it. Nice slow roll. But, man, the reverse flick is just so crisp. The detent is very well tuned for a reverse flick. It's nice and heavy while still not being too strong. Next, one of the best reverse flicking knives the Sheepdog, the Kaiser Sheepdog. This thing is insanely good at the reverse flicking action. It's so natural feeling because the hole is just placed in the perfect position. Like when you hold the knife, the, the hole right there is just bang right there. It's so easy to do. Even if you switch to um, from this to the thumb, it's super easy. So it's just so easy to, to find that hole. But it's not a reversible pocket clip, even though it is incredible with the lefty. So I do think that they messed that up. They should have put a clip on this or a spot for the clip on this side because, dang it, it works so good. Full review up on the channel. Most of these knives have a full review. Not all of them, but most of them have a full review up on the channel. And <clears throat> I can tell you a lot more information on the knife if you want to watch that. Very, very cool. Next, the best reverse flicking action on this list is the Kaiser Horn. Now, the Kaiser Horn, yes, it is so ugly. It's so ugly. But this action is so, so good. And it does have a reversible clip. 
Now it also comes with a, a detachable flipper tab. Now my flipper tab is not on there. I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. But regardless, this isn't about flipping action. But if I did have it on, it is very good flipping action. I just want to say that it's very well tuned for both. So if you like having um, dual action, this is an incredible knife for multiple actions. But the hole is placed in a good spot, but then you also have like this little indent. It just, man, you can go up high or down low with your finger. Um, and like I said, with the left hand, it's just as easy, just as easy. Very comfortable in the hand. The, the micarta, I love this micarta. It's such nice micarta. And the lock bar access is really nice. You can get it nice and low. It is fall shut action. But the detent and break on this knife is just as good as you can possibly get on a reverse flicking knife. So there is a long list. I think it was actually more than 10 knives of like the best reverse flicking action. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.